Ever thought about how a boat can wave as a greeting? We hadn't either, but it turns out it can. McCain didn't give its boat this capability just to be nice to everyone around. These are hydrofoils, controlled either by autopilot or manually, that know when and how to move like waving arms. The AC-40 was designed for racing, and it excels in this role. The yacht's hull is made from carbon composite, and with its underwater foil and large sails, it can reach speeds of up to 46 miles per hour. All in all, it offers a fun, extreme, and expensive experience, really expensive with the AC-40 priced at around $3 million. Imagine speeding along in a boat in a bay at a good pace, powered by a Stabex engine packing between 300 and 600 horsepower. When it's time to take a break, the boat offers all the comfort you need, with cozy seats, lighting, and more. But as the water adventure comes to an end and you approach the shore, the fun doesn't stop there. With Stabex's unique system, the boat's built-in wheels shift into a driving position, transforming it into an amphibious vehicle. This allows you to continue moving seamlessly onto land. Each boat is equipped with an additional 40 horsepower engine for ground movement, which is enough to maneuver the boat on shore or head back into the water without any extra effort. Beyond the Sea creates solutions to help boats reduce fuel consumption and lower emissions, and for testing these innovations, they use a vessel called SeaKite. This catamaran is equipped with numerous solar panels, enabling significant fuel savings and reducing harmful emissions. However, its standout feature is the autonomous SeaKite system, which includes a kite, launch mast, rotating platform, sensors, a winch, autopilot, and a control interface. According to the company, this system allows for a 20% reduction in average daily fuel consumption. Since part of the movement is powered by the kite, the environmental impact is further minimized. Additionally, the sea kite vessel incurs lower carbon dioxide emission fees, making it a more eco-friendly option. <laughs> Watergator is a specialized harvester designed to remove weeds from water, and its sole job is to cut, remove, and collect aquatic vegetation from depths of over 4 feet. It can carry up to 1,200 pounds of plant material on its body. Controlled remotely, users can activate, deactivate, and direct the harvester while monitoring the process through a camera, making it convenient to operate without sitting inside. The only autonomous feature is a sensor that stops the cutter if it gets too close to the bottom. Ideal for homeowners with a shoreline or lake, the water gator is a powerful tool, but it comes with a hefty price tag of nearly $42,000. <laughs> The SL3 offers a more traditional pedal-powered water bike experience, but with a modern twist, hydrofoils lift the bike out of the water once a certain speed is reached. If you're tired of pedaling, the SL3's electric motor can take over, allowing you to cruise at speeds of up to 12 miles per hour without any effort. The motor lasts for 210 minutes on a full charge from its 600 kilowatts battery. After the battery depletes, a 180-minute recharge is needed for your next adventure. However, the price is steep, with the SL3 costing $116,000. While DIY options may not include an engine or hydrofoils, they offer a much cheaper alternative. <laughs> Marinetex TAC 2000 underwater scooters are effective, but in situations where more power is needed, the company introduced the dual scooter system, combining two vehicles into one. This setup provides higher pulling force with two motors and is powered by two lithium-ion batteries, each with a capacity of 2000 watt-hours. 
The dual system allows for movement up to 980 minutes at optimal speed and 220 minutes at a maximum speed of 4.5 miles per hour, making it a powerful and efficient underwater propulsion solution. The ZRX-47, described by Adrenaline as a masterpiece and a work of art, features carbon fiber, epoxy resin, a custom-designed touchscreen control panel, a smart hatch, and an entertainment system with eight speakers, making it perfect for fans of aesthetics and entertainment. Fast travel enthusiasts will also be impressed by its design, which incorporates industry-leading step-bottom technology and a powerful engine that enables speeds of up to 150 miles per hour while maintaining stability. However, with a price tag of $735,000, the ZRX-47 is likely not for those looking to save money. The X-1 from Handstegger is a futuristic and stylish watercraft that resembles a sports car on water. With a sleek black color, a hull made from a mix of carbon foam and glass, and a superstructure entirely of carbon, it exudes luxury. Inside, it boasts a VIP hotel-like area of 750 square feet, with a galley design like an open-plan kitchen featuring exquisite furniture. The transom transforms into a 320-square-foot relaxation area when fully opened. Despite its elegant design, the X1 also prioritizes ecology, featuring solar panels and the option to add wind turbines. As for the price, it starts at $5 million. The P-12 from Candela is here to replace diesel ferries, using hydrofoils that perfectly complement its electric motor, reducing operating costs to just 10% of what traditional diesel ferries require. This vessel can carry 31 passengers and travels at a cruising speed of 29 miles per hour, offering a fast and efficient ride. When the battery runs low, it recharges from 10% to 85% in just 45 minutes. Despite its advanced technology, the P-12 comes at a cost similar to a ferry with an internal combustion engine, priced at nearly $1.9 million.